Welcome to the National Dairy Farmers Assuring Responsible Management video for locomotion scoring of dairy animals. Animal care is a top priority for dairy producers. While our industry has an excellent track record of responsible management practices, we need to work together to reassure consumers that we care for the safety, comfort, and well-being of our animals, and that the dairy products we produce are safe, wholesome, and nutritious. That's what the National Dairy Farm Program is all about. Voluntary and open to all producers, this comprehensive program was created by the National Milk Producers Federation with support from Dairy Management Incorporated to demonstrate and verify that U.S. milk producers are committed to providing the highest standards of animal care and quality assurance. The National Dairy Farm Program benefits milk producers by outlining best practices that promote the production of high quality dairy products, providing consistent guidelines for dairy animal care that all producers can employ on the farm, and create a consistent nationwide animal care program with thorough education, on-farm evaluation, and third-party verification. The National Dairy Farm Program uses several animal observations to verify that the animals are well cared for on the dairy. One of these observations include the evaluation of animal locomotion. The locomotion observation is used to evaluate the overall foot health and the prevalence of lameness in the herd. Lameness will interfere with the general activities of the animal, such as walking to the parlor, feed bunk, or the water trough, and expressing estrus. Ultimately, lameness will negatively influence both milk production and reproduction as the animal can lose significant body weight and become susceptible to other illnesses. The objective of this video is to review and explain the proper method of evaluating locomotion in a dairy herd. The farm program uses the National Dairy Farm Program's locomotion scoring system to evaluate herd lameness. This is referenced in the National Dairy Farm Dairy Animal Care Manual's Appendix D. The scale used to evaluate the herd for lameness is a simplified scale of 1 to 3, with 1 being sound, including a normal, healthy gait. A score of 2 being an animal that favors a limb when walking. And a score of 3 is a severely lame animal that avoids bearing weight on a limb. Locomotion is scored by observing the animal during standing and walking. There are several guidelines to follow to accurately observe animals for locomotion. One, animal observations should be conducted on a flat surface. Two, animals should be observed at a spot that provides good footing. The observer does not want to mistake an animal being tentative on slippery flooring for lameness if the flooring is actually the problem. Three, observations should not be made when animals are entering the parlor for milking. A cow's gait can be influenced by a full udder. In order to evaluate the animals as accurately as possible, Conduct the locomotion observation at the exit of the parlor. One of the best places to evaluate locomotion in a freestall barn is at the parlor exit, or if animals are housed in a tie stall barn as cows are walking out of the barn for exercise. Usually, they are released from either site in small groups. There is no one pressuring them to move, and they will move slowly and methodically in a manner that allows them to be evaluated for lameness. The goal of the National Dairy Farm Program is to have 95% of the lactating and dry dairy herd score a two or less on the NDFP locomotion scorecard. Additionally, measures should be implemented to improve foot health for those animals with locomotion scores of three. Measures may include more frequent trimming, blocks, wraps, or sprays. And finally, a lameness prevention protocol is in place. Protocols may include foot baths, frequent inspection, and regular foot trimming as recommended by the herd health veterinarian or a trained professional. Over the next several slides, we will review each locomotion score and identify the definition of each score. Let's start with the locomotion score of one. The description is that dairy animal scoring a one is sound or normal. The animal stands squarely on all four feet and has a straight back, LS equals one. She has a very confident stride when walking. Here is a cow with a locomotion score of two. The description is that a cow scoring a two is moderately lame. The animal may look normal when standing still, but when the animal walks, it will favor a limb, making the gait slightly abnormal. It may also bob its head more when it walks, trying to propel forward. This is an example of a cow with a locomotion score of two. Again, the cow stands fairly normal, 
but it is clear she is favoring a foot as she walks. Here is a look at a locomotion score of three. An animal scoring a three is severely lame. This animal is trying to avoid bearing weight on one or more limbs. This is an example of a cow with a locomotion score of three. The limp is easily identifiable, and this cow is very hesitant to put weight on its limb. Severely lame animals should be in a hospital or a special needs pen and receive intensive care. In review, the locomotion scale is a one to three scoring system, with one being sound with a healthy gait, a score of two being an animal that favors a limb when walking, and three being an animal that is severely lame and trying to avoid bearing weight on a limb. The goal of the National Dairy Farm Program is to have 95% of the lactating and dry herd score a two or less on the NDFP locomotion scorecard. Additionally, measures should be implemented to improve foot health for those animals with locomotion scores of three. Measures may include more frequent trimming, blocks, wraps, or sprays. And finally, a lameness prevention protocol is in place. Protocols may include foot baths, frequent inspection, and regular hoof trimming as recommended by the herd health veterinarian or a trained professional. In summary, lameness will interfere with the animal's general activities such as walking, eating, and expressing estrus. Locomotion is one of the animal observations conducted in the National Dairy Farm Program. The objective of this video was to explain how locomotion is scored on farm. The objective of the National Dairy Farm Program is to set high expectations for dairy animal care and provide statistically verified data demonstrating to our customers and consumers that proper animal care is expected in our industry. For more information, visit www.nationaldairyfarm.com.